Do we evaluate current law enforcement or security guard teams? And the answer is yes, we do this quite a bit. Um, we have a standard, as you know, there's the phase schedule, phase one, two, three, and four. Phase two is the mark for pistol, meaning if someone's carrying a pistol, I don't care if you're a volunteer, if you're paid, if you're just a, res uh, a responsible citizen defending your family. That phase two standard is my version of the standard that everybody needs to know this stuff. I, get if, I can't fathom that some people are walking around with a gun when they haven't done certain things, not even knowing that it's not gonna be successful. So that phase two standard, call it protector certified. That's the standard on which we, that we, that we assess anyone carrying a pistol. Now, if they're gonna carry a rifle, that's the phase four standard, that's the Abel Shepherd standard. Our members carry a coin that, that the serialized, that numbers, that the number says, yes, I have this, I possess this capability. So when we evaluate these teams, typically they come in and we say, here's the standard. There's a live fire shooting portion. And they, if they pass that, they continue on to very simple three separate room entries. If they pass without any major infractions, they're not pointing their gun at their, their friend, their buddy, they're not shooting the wrong person, they're not delaying and defending their life and their team. It's a very efficient to, way to do this. It's only a couple hours. They do a live fire portion, and then they do a, a, a simulation when they're engaging real people. And if they pass, that's a standard saying, hey, good job. This is a high level of skill that's required when you're around real human beings with real firearms. Again, with an AR platform, it is going to be a more stringent test because it's two different weapon systems that we have, firearm systems that we have to test, both in a live fire setting and then in the entries. So that's how we evaluate. I haven't seen a standard, a healthy standard for law enforcement and security guards, so we created that standard. Maybe you have a security team now and they're the best ever. You think they're the best ever, okay? You just don't know. You don't know what you don't know. Um, when the first time you see anything, I think anybody can convince anybody that this is the best. This is the best thing when it's the only thing you've seen, right? I've seen a lot. So if you've got a, a team and you want a third party assessment saying, hey, can you evaluate these guys to make, their, make sure they're safe? Because I, under my name, put them next to children on a Sunday. I, on my name, uh, like to boast about, we have armed response that's gonna come protect your kids. Let's find out. Because like I said, a standard exists, it has for a long time. We've just modeled it, we've scaled it to the civilian, civilian world. There's a, there must be a standard, and if you can pass the standard, that's a healthy place to be. If you don't have a standard or you can't pass a standard, you're walking around with a big liability hanging over your head and you don't even know it. And if you find out on that horrible day, there's no backing up. So it is time to say, show me. And if you're in that position where you're the security team lead, you should want this. When we stop learning, we become dangerous. Right? So if I get assessed or if somebody else comes and teaches something that I don't agree with, you're not going to make me worse because I've seen too much. I know that I'm going to be me, but I owe that to the person in charge, the people, the head shed, the bosses, all that kind of stuff. When I say they're going to be able to do this, we need to be able to show them. And at any given time they say, uh, replicate the standard, I should be able to take my team in, step into an arena, replicate the standard, and then we move forward. That's a responsible way to run your security team.